Welcome to this video. Today we're looking at the recently updated Flipgrid video. So Flipgrid now allows you to create a short within the app. So historically you had to go into one of your groups and then you could create a video. But now you can use the video feature immediately. So we've got the video button down the bottom here. So if I click on that and spin it around, I can now video stuff. So I can see this being used for student feedback. And what's nice is we've got all of the features that you'd expect from Flipgrid. So we can bring up the effects and we've got all of the effects there. I'm just going to rest this down so it's a better camera angle. So we can add text. And you can move that around the video. Um, go back, we can add pen. So we could use this as a way of annotating. So we want to give some feedback to students or students are reflecting on their progress. So maybe it's a craft-based course they're doing. So I've got uh, my Christmas gift to myself, this uh, Lego I made over uh, Lego Ferrari. I could use the pen there to annotate specific aspects of that. So I could, uh, whilst I'm recording it, other effects I can do is I could add photos. I could add a filter and there's various filter effects there. I can add a frame. And you can see as soon as you add something, if you want to get rid of that thing, you've got the delete option or the undo option there. So you can add all of the components you want or you can start pressing record. You've also got the ability uh, to add a board. So if it was for feedback, you may want to have a board there where you can type in feedback as well. But where I think it, it's really useful, and we'll just get rid of um, board, is that ability to provide feedback. So immediately you can start to provide feedback. There is a notes section. So if you wanted to put some notes in addition for the student, you could do that. But when you're ready, you could start by pressing record. So it's immediately recording. You can see the countdown in the top right hand corner and we could go over their piece of work uh, and, and highlight certain bits. So whilst we're recording, we can bring up the pen tool and we could change the color of the pen tool and we could go, OK, so in this bit here and you could give them the feedback specific to the bit that they want. And you could keep talking all the way through. So you can use the effects as you go. You can use the options as you go. If you need to, you can mute it briefly. As I say, you can go for mic only. So it's just audio recording. So it's just giving audio feedback. So we can go back back to the video. So having got your video there, you can see I've got 30 seconds left. I'm happy that I've got my video captured. I can go next. It will allow me, just as it would, to edit my video. So I'm just go back a stage. I can alter the video. I can trim either end of the video. I can rotate the whole video if I, if I need to, if I shot it the wrong way around, which is really useful. Having done that, uh, I've also got the mirror option. I can go confirm. I can choose where I'm going to post it. So I can either post it to one of my groups already, or I can just post it to my profile. So I can add my title. Save to my profile. And that video is now saved. I can go share video and I could share it or copy the link and, and post it to, to my student. So there you have it, a really great addition to the Flipgrid app, the ability to create short videos that you can then share directly without having to put them into a group. I could see this being used in a whole world of different ways. Uh, I think initially, as I've highlighted, I think it could be used for creating student feedback. If you use the audio only feature, you could use it for, for capturing that verbal feedback in practical sessions, or the students could use it as a way of reflecting on a piece of work that they've done, especially if it's a practical piece of work and they could be annotating that piece of work and 
reflecting on how they could do that piece of work better. I think because you can also upload a video to it, it could be used within sports. You could see teachers getting students to upload a video, annotate their performance of them doing their particular sport and then share that with their tutor. So I think it's a great addition, the ability to shoot videos without having to add them to a group all through the app. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to share, subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.